Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well out there. And normally I would do a right out of the theater reaction to a new film that I've seen, especially this film, Scream 2022. But I needed to sit on it, think about it, I talk it over with the gentleman I've, I saw the movie with. I got to go to the Raleigh Animal, Alamo Draft House and I saw my buddy Dale A from the Bat and Spider podcast. And his friend Jim, who's now my friend Jim. Jim, it was great meeting you and I hope you have a safe travels home tomorrow. And I had to think about it a little bit, and I'm ready to talk about it. This is non-spoiler reaction, because there's a lot to give away if I say too much. So I'm just going to give you my general thoughts on the film. I'll do a spoiler review next week, early in the week, because there's a lot to talk about with this film. Now, I'm a huge Scream fan. I love the original film. I like the sequel. I I enjoyed the third one to a point. It's not my favorite, nowhere near it. It's definitely down, dip in quality, that third film. And I really like the fourth film. Now, Wes Craven passed away, sadly, in 2015, so obviously he couldn't be a part of this. The directing team from Ready or Not took over, which gave me hope, because I really liked that film. And Kevin Williamson was back as uh, a producer on the film. So, all the pieces were there to give us a pretty cool slasher film that takes the franchise, or comments on the genre, like they always do. And this film definitely does that. So what I like about this film, I actually like the new cast here. I think they're pretty damn good here, um, especially considering every film has dealt with Sydney as the main actor or main character in this film. So to introduce some new characters that are come off pretty damn well, and I enjoyed their performances, I enjoyed their characters, they did a great job with that. I thought the writing was pretty witty and sharp, as they usually are in these type of films, and they definitely carry on that legacy here. <clears throat> they definitely comment on the horror genre, the state of the horror genre right now. And they comment on reboots of franchises that stick like sequels to the original films. They they comment a lot on that. About they call them requels, and they go into it in the film. There's a lot of self-awareness here in this film, and I, I was there for it. I ate it up because I love when it when these movies, especially the screen movies, kind of look in on the horror genre or look in on itself. And, it, and this film definitely does that. I think Ghostface is awesome in this film. He's brutal. He goes for the jug jugular in more ways than one. There's definitely some surprises about who lives and who dies. Um, I think the legacy characters are really good here. They don't feel... Dewey gets the most to do out of all the legacy characters. And he is probably the biggest component part of the story. And he's great here. Uh, David Arquette's awesome. Obviously, Sydney Prescott is here. You saw her in the trailer, and she's fantastic. And Gail Weathers is back as well. Other than that, I don't want to say too much. I did enjoy this film. I had a few small problems with it, which I'll talk about in the spoiler review. <coughs> but overall, I really enjoyed this. And if you're a Scream fan, I, I think you'll enjoy this as well. I would definitely recommend checking this out. Out of the theater, my initial thoughts on this film is I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10. That's right, 8.5 out of 10 for the new Scream. But I will do an in-depth review early next week. But until then, have a great evening and bye.